What's going on guys, it's Rated here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have you guys a brand new video. This is going to be on a method, how you can rank up extremely fast, but not only a method, a glitch included within this video as well. Now it will probably be patched in a couple days, so I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you guys as I did previously discuss a rare supply drop glitch in the previous video. So of course if you want to go check that out at the end of the video, I will link it at the end of the video. So make sure you go ahead and check that one out if you haven't already, along with a few other videos on my channel. But like I do always say, it'd be great if you guys can leave a like down below. Let's try and shoot for something, whatever, 250 likes on this video. You guys managed to do it on the last video in literally like three hours. So it's absolutely insane. Thank you guys for that. And of course, make sure you guys go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. As I'm going to be posting videos exactly like this. And not only glitches and tricks, also methods on how you can rank up. And also do some weird shit in Call of Duty World War 2. But as you guys are seeing by this gameplay right now on screen... I'm actually getting 75 points per kill on the war. Now, the usual points for war is only 40 points a kill, which kind of does suck. It's double XP weekend right now, so you are technically getting 80 points per kill. But when going ahead and being on an MG turret, you guys are getting 75 points per kill. The reason why this works so great is because you're getting 75 points per kill. But on this exact map right now, if you kill an enemy while he is trying to escort a tank, you guys are going to be getting 150 points per kill. Technically, you're going to be getting 300 points per kill as that and double XP is allowing you guys to get 300 points per kill where the normal kill XP is only 40 so that's a huge improvement that's literally like getting four kills in the space of getting one kill making it 10 times more easy for you guys to go ahead and do and I definitely recommend you guys going ahead and giving this one a go now I knew about this for quite a while on the map Operation Neptune and that's also a great map that you guys are going to want to head and go and try yourself. Now HD Dugan did post a video on this before and I already kind of knew about it but he kind of brought it to the attention of the Call of Duty community. You guys can be running lookout as a basic training and seeing the enemies literally from across the map on Operation Neptune before they can even go ahead and get to the shore. So you guys can pretty much pull off 50 kills on an MG turret in the first five minutes of the game so definitely go ahead and try that one out if you haven't already it's an absolute insane method and i definitely recommend you guys giving it a try now i also have a secret method on how to actually get unlimited double xp once the double xp weekend is over and if you guys would like to see a video on that definitely leave a comment down below and smash a like on this uh, there is a method where you can get unlimited double xp by simply going ahead, going into your mail and actually redeeming the double XP codes. I know a method on how you can get unlimited of them. So definitely leave a like down below if you'd like to see that here on the channel. I will probably post that this week. So make sure you guys subscribe and check that one out. But I'm going to be showing you a glitch right now, which I actually posted yesterday on how to actually get rare supply drops for free in Call of Duty World War 2. And as you guys are seeing on screen right now, there's a method on where you can actually do it for the XP challenges as well. So what you're going to go ahead and do if you've already completed all the challenges, just don't worry you guys can do it endless amount of times and the best one i found myself is the 130 kills in 40 minutes because that's very easy when you are playing war as you guys are going to be getting around 50 kills aside which is of course uh, going to allow you guys to complete that in just over one game so that's going to give you a rare supply drop but of course you can opt out to the 3000 xp that's given to you for simply completing the challenge that's telling you to get 100 kills in 40 minutes so definitely enable that one not only that but enable the headshot one as well getting three and five headshots in 20 minutes because that's that's very easy and that's going to give you like around 4,000 XP. So that 4,000 XP plus the 3,000 XP, that's going to be giving you 7,000 XP just for simply going ahead and playing the game. Now, you guys can only usually do this once a day and this method is going to allow you to do it on limited times a day. Literally after every single game, you guys can actually go ahead and redo it. So the way how you're going to go ahead and do this is simply hover over the challenge that's already completed so you can't select it again. Go down one or go... Or go to one that's next to it and from here you guys are going to be pressing x on your playstation controller and up on the d-pad or whatever direction it is to hover back over the one that's already completed if you guys are a bit confused on this like i did say check out yesterday's video because i did go into it in a bit more depth and it actually explained it quite well in that video so what you guys are going to go ahead and do is hold x press up on the d-pad and you will see it's activating the contract that you've already completed now once this is done you do it for all three of them essentially allowing you to repeat this over and over again getting you the unlimited amount of xp now like i did say if you guys have any problems with this or do struggle with it leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to help you guys out but they are going to patch this in about a day or so so definitely try this as much as you can if you want to go ahead and do it with supply drops 
definitely do it with supply drops if you can because they're going to be patching it and you want to save those supply drops for when their DLC weapons are released. So right now we're going to be hopping into a game and I'm going to be showing you guys the MG turret method on the second half of Operation Breakout. It also works the whole way through Operation Breakout as you guys can jump on any MG turret in the game throughout the whole of the war game and actually get the double XP. As you can see, I got 74 kills with over nearly 7,000 score. Now, that is literally 100 points per kill. So, I was technically getting the double XP the whole way through it. And if you guys are going to be doing this both sides, you guys are going to be getting like 14,000 XP just from the score alone. And that's without the challenges and the XP glitch as well. So, this is a great method and glitch to level up. I definitely recommend you guys turning on your PS4 or Xbox One right now and giving it a try and just doing it on multiple accounts if you want to because you're definitely going to benefit from this as well. As you can see, I got around 45,000 XP just from this one game and that was only one half of the game as well so just bear that in mind that was only one half of the game getting 45,000 XP then I went ahead went to the quartermaster and collected my contracts that I had glitched already getting the extra bit of XP but as you can see the quartermaster did glitch out but the orders were all completed so what you're going to go ahead and do if this happens to you is simply restart your application and you will be able to collect them again. As you can see, it was very weird why it wasn't letting me do it. I tried multiple times. I even went to the uh, Howard to try and collect those rewards and it wouldn't let me do it. I went to the orders reward and it wouldn't even let me redeem them there. So what you're going to go ahead and do is simply just restart your game, log back on and go to the quartermaster or Howard and do this over again. So once you go ahead and do that, you guys can actually do it with the Howard challenges too, which are the daily and weekly and which are the daily and weekly challenges, you guys can go ahead and do it for them as well because this does work and they do offer you double XP along with that as well which is a great method especially considering this is like the last day of double XP weekend and I definitely want you guys to go ahead and try this one out. But right now, as you can see, my game has loaded back up. I've logged into multiplayer and now I'm going to be going over to Quartermaster to redeem my XP. Hello, sir. Looks like your luck's holding up. So as you can see, I've gone over to contracts and the glitch has worked. I now have the contracts that I can go ahead and redeem. And to simply do them again, you guys can literally do it as soon as you redeem them, which is insane. As you guys are going to be seeing on screen right now, I'm going to be doing it one last time just so you guys understand how to do it. Hover over one of them that's not completed, then press up on the D-pad and X at the same time to redeem the one that's already been redeemed, if that makes sense. So you guys can activate it unlimited amount of times within the day. Now what I'm going to be doing now is opening up a few rare supply drops and supply drops just because I actually went ahead and unlocked a few from doing this challenge. So let's see what we get right here. I got an epic weapon, not bad, but it's a carabin and epic weapons look 10 times better on the little uh, icons that are displayed when you open the supply drops. But we all know they're the rusty versions of the weapons, which kind of sucks, to be honest. I did post a video, I think, a few days ago. It might have been... Uh, a few weeks ago actually like by now i'm not entirely sure but i actually showcased what epic weapons and normal weapons look like compared to the heroic weapons and how they actually affect the game and i personally think sledgehammer games have gone ahead and done this by including a ton of filler items as you can see i got literally like duplicate so many times within this which is beyond doubt there's like four percent to actually get a weapon in this game let alone a heroic weapon besides uh, an epic weapon as well so my personal opinion sledgehammer games have gone ahead and done this deliberately they've included a ton of filler items just so the percentages is lower and they've made diamond look trash on the epic weapons and the regular weapons as they're the most common to get especially because the normal weapons you can unlock straight off the bat once you prestige or even get an unlock token whereas the epic ones are just from common supply drops and they're trying to make you guys buy a rare supply drop so if you guys would like me to go in depth on a video discussing all of that information and the actual percentages of unlocking a heroic weapon in this game let me know down in the comment section below because i feel as if we're getting scammed by sledgehammer games but that's all my opinion of course leave your own opinion down in the comment section below by all means i'm not against all four supply drops to be honest i really do not mind if they're in the game or not i did although enjoy the games a bit more before supply drops did exist and as they kind of included more stuff in the game rather than like DLC and supply drops. Like we've only got nine maps in this game right now. 
and we haven't even got the chrome camera fully fixed or even unlocked that's another video that i'll probably discuss is because they're deliberately doing this simply because they've been working on supply drop stuff and actually have not had the time to complete chrome camo so they've decided to deliberately glitch one of the challenges so nobody can unlock it until it's fully fixed but like i did say that's just me ranting on a bit uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if this glitch or trick did help you out definitely leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and leave a comment down below telling me what you'd like to see here on the channel next but other than that i hope you guys have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace